I got access to this program called Cascadur. Basically what it is, is it's an animation software that claims to use AI and physics-y stuff, both things that we love to make animation easier. So when you open up Cascadur, uh, you go to the samples section, and there's a bunch of rigs already made for you, humans, animals. I'm basically going to use the basic dummy model. Quick crash course, hold down alt and click to rotate, scroll to scroll, and alt and middle mouse. And you can see if I click a control point, I can automatically start animating this thing. And it's not just the basic rig, you can see like other parts of it are reacting. And that's also included for different parts of the body. You can shift click control points to do multiple control points, and now you can move multiple multiple areas and if you hit E on the keyboard you have rotations which is the other way to move and again W is like transforming. First concept you have to understand is a blue control point is basically something that is fixed so you can see that these two feet are fixed meaning that if I take like the pelvis and move it no matter what I do the feet are gonna stay in the same position roughly and when I select a control point and change it or like basically add in a keyframe that is also going to become blue which again means it's fixed which means that if I select a different point and change that, you can see that you start getting weird stuff. To clear it, you can just click it and hit Shift Z. Okay, enough fundamentals, let's actually animate something. So I'm gonna select the foot and basically start making a pose here. Again, notice that the arms and stuff are moving on their own. This is our first pose. And all of this information is contained down here in this keyframe. So if I go down to frame 10 and then change something, you're gonna notice that it doesn't like that. It's gonna automatically reset and that's because it's using this keyframe information so before you do anything you have to either click this to add in a keyframe or hit F and now we can actually change the position to get rid of a keyframe I'm gonna select it and basically do the opposite which will get rid of the keyframe so pretty intuitive on our first keyframe I just want to edit the pose a bit more don't know what this is but I am happy with it and then on frame 10 I am gonna add a keyframe and by using box selection I can select all our control points that we're editing and to generate our second pose I'm going to use a bit of a shortcut by using mirroring. I'm going to do this on the Z plane because you can see the Z axis is going this way. And that is going to generate the other pose. So if I go back and forth, you can see that these are mirror images. But we don't have any kind of interpolation. It just kind of does this like change automatically. By selecting all of these keyframes and going to our interpolation types, I can select a kind of interpolation. I'm going to use this one. And now you can see that we have poses in between. So now that we've used the AI stuff, let's also use physics. Go to the physics panel which has a bunch of options i'm just going to click auto physics click this and then you get a second guy he's green why do we have two of them this is going to be our physics version of our initial animation so you can see the difference here is this guy is actually popping because that is how you would get from point a to point b and since this is kind of disappearing after frame 10 i can hold down shift and middle mouse drag which is going to create a new duplicate keyframe so now it has the pose extended for longer and now when we play this animation you can see not only is he jumping but his knees kind of like lock in as he has the impact by the way very important hotkey x is what we use to pause and play you might think it's spacebar but spacebar actually opens up another window i can just click this button down here to constrain our timeline to the frames that we care about so when i hit x you can now see our animation and of course we can control these physics by going to the physics settings and this is a whole can of worms we're not going to talk about all of this but you can see some initial parameters like gravity that we can make very like low so so now this guy is basically gliding, but we can take these physics further. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take our timeline and extend it again. So let's say that we have 40 frames. And again, I'm going to hold down shift and middle click drag to the end of the timeline so that this pose is conserved until the end. Go to spring secondary motion and enable this. Where first of all, I want to take the view type and change it to this, which is going to give us basically all our points that make up the rig. So we have this kind of auto positioning and this other thing. I'm going to select everything or another way to do this is control a i can go to spring secondary motion and this is where i'm gonna add some stuff go to keyframe zero which is where we're starting our animation and i'm going to click this button the way you want to think about this is this is going to make any change we make apply on every frame that we're looking at and before i actually change any of these settings i just want to backtrack on one of the things i said i'm only going to do this for part of the body because if i did it for all of it i don't think that would make much sense the entire thing would be jiggly and whatever and 
the secret sauce is first of all setting this to dynamic and now you can already see this hand is moving much more like there's the secondary motion and we can control that using the stiffness and dampening and all of this so if i was to bring down the stiffness by a lot in other words to zero you can see that this is basically like a dead arm now which might be what you want i, I don't know what you want instead i'm gonna take the damping dampening and uh, set it to zero so now we're kind of doing the opposite scenario and what this is going to do is it's going to give us our motion but there's no like dissipation like it keeps going forever and let's add a second round of secondary motion so we can also do this for the head and it's a little hard to tell but the head is vibrating a bit but it's definitely not powerful enough which is now where we kind of bring down some of these settings and yes <laughs> this this is a animation <laughs> Uh, not the one I want though. So obviously the stiffness is too low. I don't know what numbers I'm choosing. I'm literally just doing this randomly. And again, I want to remind you, we took this very basic animation and turned it into this, right? But a cool little setting that's here is you can take ghost offset, which is basically saying how far away is the screen mesh. So if I can like set this to zero, you can see it's getting closer on the uh, X axis, disable it. And now these are going to be overlapping. And the reason you might want to do this is now you can see the difference between these two animations. I'm just going to do a second project so we can have a different animation for once. And what I'm thinking for this animation is I want to do some kind of yoga pose or something different. Hit E for rotation, which is going to let me rotate this guy forwards. This is... This... Hit. We, we all know what this is. Let's add secondary spring motion. So enable that. Again, we can go to the actual like rig thing point mode instead of auto pose mode. I'm going to select these arms. So both of them and maybe also the head. Enable spring secondary motion. You get the drill at this point. Let's set that to dynamic. You can see now this guy has a bit of shake in his arms and head. I'm just going to take this keyframe middle mouse drag so that this like motion is much more intense. And now we get way more shake exactly what we wanted i don't know why we made this but we did make it there's not a doubt in my mind so that is cascasset that that is the software if you want to check it out there's a link in the description it is an affiliates link but there you go cascasseter changing animation forever